Hi guys, so we're back with some more Please Mrs Butler. So I'm going to choose two more poems today to read to you. And the first one is called Emma Hackett's News Book. So this is just like what we do on a Monday sometimes when we ask you to jot down what you've been up to at the weekend. This is just what Emma Hackett did, but she had quite an eventful weekend. Let's have a look. Last night, my mum got really mad and threw a jam tart at my dad. Dad lost his temper then with mother, threw one at her, but hit my brother. My brother thought it was my sister, threw two at her, but somehow missed her. My sister, now she's only three, hurled four at him and one at me. I said, I'm not standing for that, aimed one at her, but hit the cat. The cat jumped up like he'd been shot and landed in the baby's cot. The baby quietly sucking his thumb, then started howling for my mum, at which my mum got really mad and threw a Swiss roll at my dad. <gasps> now, thankfully, they're not the sorts of things that we read in our weekend books, are they? So the next one is called Colin. <clears throat> And Colin is a bit of a whinger. Let's find out why. When you frown at me like that, Colin, and you wave your arms in the air, oh, I know just what you're going to say. Please, sir, it isn't fair. It isn't fair on the football field. If their team scores a goal, it isn't fair in the cricket match, unless you bat and bowl. When you scowl at me that way, Colin, and you mutter and slam your chair, oh, I know what's coming next. Please, sir, it isn't fair. It isn't fair when I give you a job. It isn't fair when I don't. If I keep you in, it isn't fair. But if you're told to go out, you won't. When heads bow low in assembly and the whole school saying a prayer, Oh, I can guess what's on your mind, Colin. Our father, it isn't fair. It wasn't fair in the infants. It isn't fair now. It won't be fair at the comprehensive, for the first years anyhow. When your life reaches its end, Colin, though I doubt if I'll be there, oh, I can picture the words on the gravestone now. They'll say, it isn't fair. He was a bit of a whinger, wasn't he? So, this book is filled with funny poems just like that. And some of them are about home time. Some of them are about school time and play time and dinner time. And it's a really, really funny book. So I will have a look and find two more funny poems to read to you for the next clip. Okay, guys, take care. Keep safe, everybody. Bye.